How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Drew with me today. What's up, buddy? How in the world are you, Uncle Hank? Good to see you again, man. Man, glad to yeah, be here. Every time I do something with you, I'm getting in trouble. Well, hey, the day is young, my friend. <laughs> we made it this far back yeah. in the sticks, uh, so uh, ain't one but one way out. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, and well, you never know what we can get into betwixt here and there. So I was talking to Drew earlier, and I and he was saying, hey, I got this old Komatsu that I found in the woods, man, make an excellent Will It Start video. And so I was like, I'm all about that. So I drove up to his house. Let me tell you a little bit about the Komatsu that we're working on, and then we're going we're gonna to try to get this thing cranked up. Now, I will caveat this by saying Drew has promised that he can get it running. Yeah. Well, now, I mean, you yeah, know. <laughs> Come on now. Well, I, I, my thing oh, is... It's either, it's, it's either going to run... Or you're going to buy lunch. How's that? Oh, I'm good with that. I'm good <laughs> yeah, with that. Perfect. So, all right, let's take a look at this Komatsu and let's get it. Uh, let's get this thing fired up under the, like the mechanical movie. expertise of Drew here. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need Wiley for that. <laughs> all right, Drew. What have you got me into? I feel like I need some like bug spray and poison ivy. Uh, oh, I feel buddy. like I got poison ivy. You're going to need a lot more than that. You're going to need some quinine and malaria tablets and all <laughs> out here. I don't know why they stuck this thing out here. Yeah. This big old machine here, it's a uh, it's a Komatsu PC250 LC. I believe it's going to be vintage of the late 90s. Okay. It sat beside the road, uh, uh, not far piece from here, probably about a year. And I rode by that thing every day looking at it. And, right. and it's not... It's not the easiest on the eyes, you know. It's it's not straight out of Caterpillar Centerfold magazine or anything. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But uh, finally, uh, one day I had a little extra time and I was feeling spry. I stopped and talked to the fella. He said, "Oh, it don't belong to me. It's some fella. He uh, he he did some work for me and and he couldn't he couldn't get it going. And man, it's tough having one leg. <laughs> it's tough having one leg, ain't it, buddy? Yeah. And uh, so I called the fella up and and we dealt on it a little bit. Now this was September of last year. And we dealt on it again in October, and we dealt on it again in December, and and finally he uh he uh do <laughs> you think that's funny, Uncle Hank? Come I don't. On, I don't think it's funny. Oh, well, okay, I do think it's Lord funny. Lord have mercy, <laughs> great God in heaven. And finally we we come to a deal, and uh he said, all right, well uh you pay me this, I'll I'll haul it out there, I'll fill it up with fuel, and I'll I put some new teeth on it, a few other odds and ends things, and and uh, he finally got around hauling it out here. I think it's been out here about four months now, and. I hadn't fooled with it since then. Yeah, he said that. Uh, he said he had a little trouble getting it running because it sat there where it was for over a year. Right. But they did get it running, got it on the low boy, and got it here. I don't how they wedged it out here in the middle of these big old live oaks like this. Yeah. I do not know. But um, yeah, I was talking with uh, my, my good friend Uncle Hank there the other day, and he said, oh, "What you got going on out there?" I said, "I got something just right up your alley." That's right. And it's time for her to go to work. So uh, here yeah, we, we are. Gonna see, we gonna see what uh what all it's gonna take. Drew, I will notice something. What's that? We've already got the uh, batteries on the oh, on the tracks. You already know that. Got the got the farm hand. <laughs> so Drew's farm hands out here. Bronze is with us, and he's uh, he's doing the heavy lifting for us today. But all right, so let's. Uh, yeah, let's well, I wonder. Well, let's let's uh, let's check some things. And yeah. Take it. It's got. Can we get on. Wiley on speed dial? Can we uh, get Wiley on speed dial right quick? Because I'm telling you, I, uh, this ain't really the best thing for a one-legged fella. <laughs> I did come down here yesterday and look at this thing, and I tried to grease on it a little bit, but uh, right, right. Skeeters was about hauling me off. Yeah. And uh, and I'll have y'all know, Bronze, he is not my farmhand. He is the, the farm logistics coordination oh, manager. <laughs> the LCM? Yeah. Where is the battery <laughs> box on this thing, Bronze? Uh, right, there you go. Right there. All right. Well, I'm going to come up here if you uh -huh. want to check him. All right. All right. We're up top here. Yeah, on the top side. I believe that's going to be the battery box there, is it not, Bronze? It is indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's clean. Those beauties too now. It's clean too, dude. Do y'all reckon uh, Komatsu uh, sent those factory batteries there? Uh, 17, nine of 17. Shoot, they're a lot newer than some of the ones I got. I know, I know. So it hasn't been sitting all that long. I figured this thing have um, ag batteries, those uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. undersized batteries. The, those are the uh, the light ones. Yeah, the light ones. <laughs> <laughs> I have that two of bronze all in right I know, I know. Okay. Right, well, it's got batteries. They are wired in parallel, right? For yep. 24? Pa pa parallels, amps, series is volts. That's what I meant. You know, <laughs> I was just checking to see. You know, I know that's right. going to be watching. Uh, so, yeah, that's right. So, them's wired right, right, Wiley? I, uh, yeah, I believe they are. Yeah, they're wired uh, correct. Right. We'll keep going in. If we need the new ones, we'll put them in there. If not, I'll, I'll return them to the Walmart. Okay. You know, because uh, that's how we do things. That's right. Let's uh let's see if we can pop the bonnet here. Oh, it's coming my side. I man. think it comes up your way. Watch out for cobwebs and uh old northwest Florida. I don't even yeah, I don't even see no uh, I haven't seen a wasp yet. Oh, you said something now. I know dude. Bronze, we got any of that wasp spray? I think we got a full five gallon jug of it. Oh, you ain't gotta go get it, buddy. If we see some, we'll holler. Yeah, I got I used them off earlier. Um clean now, Uncle Hank, educate me here. 
I know this is uh, going to be branded as a Komatsu engine, but I, from what I'd fail to venture that that is a 5.9 12 valve Cummins. Little Cummins, yeah. Six yeah. BT 12 valve. I'm sure they've worked some type of uh, deal where they made them for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the valve color cover is, says Komatsu on it, and usually on those 12 valve Cummins, they have the the uh, valve covers with the the you know the hoops on them yeah. like that. So uh, just looking here, this is the first time I've been on top of this machine, even though I've owned it for a quarter of a year. <laughs> I see right. some moisture up here. Yeah, on I see top that of the too. Injectors. Um, let's see. Listen, hold this for a second, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me see, because I want you to check that. Though. Let me see. Hey, I want to take just a minute to thank the sponsors of today's video, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. You can actually get meal plans ranging from four to 18 meals per week when you sign up with Factor. They have over 25 menu options and 33 add-ons that you can get. They accommodate anything from keto to low calorie, vegan, you name it, their plans will accommodate what you have. There's one thing I really like a lot about Factor is the fact that it's about a two minute process to start eating. That's faster than going through a drive-through. It's faster than having a delivery service bring it to you. You'll be ready to eat a delicious meal in two minutes or less using Factor. Head over to go.factor75.com slash HF130. There you can save $130 across six boxes with code HF130. Use code HF130 go.factor75.com slash hf130 i think you're going to like this meal subscription service go take a look at them save some money with code hf130 i'll make sure that i put the link in the description below the video here across the screen i'll even put it in a pinned comment so that it's easy for you to access go check out factor today and thank them for sponsoring hamiltonville farm videos Oh, this thing! Oh, Lord. This thing's making all. Good God in heaven! Look, look at that! Look at that! I'm telling you, we'll put a pipeline in it from this machine. <laughs> so that's Chevron. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, let's see if we got some water in here. So look, I don't know if that's factory rated or not. Hey, bronze! Is that bronze or brass? Or <laughs> all right. Let's see if we got some water in here. Ugh. I'm getting a rascal on. What's all over your hands? You ought to know better than that, Uncle Hank. That's what you call doing a little plumbing work. I, listen, I thought it was matching the peacock on your right. uh, your tattoo there. We got liquid in there. All right. And How old is it? I'd say it's between, you know, eight and 12 decades. <laughs> don't smell like fuel. Don't smell like oil. Let's see here. It's sweet, buddy. Yeah. All right. That's all we need to know. Yeah, as long as I don't fall over now. Yeah, I got oil and water. All right, Brian, go ahead and pull that thing out. Yeah, let's see what we got there. Hey, big money. Hey, big money. Nothing? Right. No, nah, there's some stuff in there. What's up in there? Hundred dollar bills. Hundred dollar bill. Oh yeah, it's got some. lottery tickets. Not too bad though. The inner. Look how clean the inner one is, Drew. I'll pull it out. Then let's take a gander. Yeah. I can't see it from up here. Oh no, it ain't. It wasn't bad at all, dude. It's just got. I bet you if you bang that joker against something, it uh, yeah. come raining dust off. Oh yeah. Hit, no. that, hit that uh, that uh, the main filter against something. Yeah. Yeah, like it's smoking it's, like a chimney. Yeah, it's due for a little cleaning. <laughs> Just a little bit. Probably good for what another hundred thousand hours. Don't yeah. You think? Just leave it out, dude, and we'll uh, we'll leave it out when we crank it, and then uh, if we crank if, it, or if we crank it, yeah, I should say. Listen, yeah. I, listen, I, there ain't nothing I can't crank, dude. I'm just kidding. That was totally one hundred percent. Oh, I was about to say we'll go down yeah. the road now, Uncle Hank, because yeah. I got some stuff you can't. Put here, so when we, oh. if it turns, we don't knock it off. Yeah, because that's where I, I'll shoot the. I'll shoot the uh, magic juice uh, right there. <laughs> yeah. Let's check the other side on the pump side, the hydraulic side. Okay, I'm yeah, sure let's check the hydraulic. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Clear some of that foliage for me there, Uncle Hank. Here are the hydraulic pumps. Is there a pump in there? <laughs> look. Look, dude. What we got? A shovel. Come on now. How about that manual excavator? Hey, my, my, my regular excavator come with a free backup. <laughs> hey, you, you, your uh, pickup truck didn't come with a backup, did it? Dude, but it's, uh, that thing wet as it can be, dude. It's wet in there? Yeah, I don't know if that's water or It's probably oil. water. I would almost guarantee. Yeah. Um, Because there's holes all through here for what? heat, vent heat, and this machine ain't been ran. Dude, I'm going to tell you what, though. This thing looks really good. I don't know. I don't. I mean, want, as far as like clean goes, I don't you know? want to send you the auction for me, Uncle Hank. That's all I know. <laughs> and this thing looks really good. And I don't. The, the sight glass has been replaced with something. 
it's a, it's one of those uh, telekinesis sight glasses is what yeah. it is. You know, you uh, tap the side of the tank. Yeah. Um, there, so there is no sight glass on the hydraulic reservoir? I, I don't. It looks like they plugged it with two two bolts there. Now, normally on a, a Hitachi machine or, or a big deer, up here on top of the cab, they have a big spout for you to add and check hydraulic fluid. Right. Can you see anything? Because right underneath me is a hydraulic reservoir. Um, it looks like the... It looks like there's a tube coming out on the, on the other side of this. Let me see. Let's see. I see a big new new ish Wix filter, and then I see. Uh, Man, I mean, I guess I just don't know what to look for. No, you're looking at the right thing. That goes into this. I bet you have to pull these bolts here to check see if it's got hydraulic fluid. All right, hold on, I get a crescent wrench. Yes, sir. If I had to have a tool over here, we could have done long had this ready. Yeah, I know, dude. Lord have mercy. <laughs> It's like playing cards with my sister's kids, I tell you. <laughs> I got it, I got you. And what the heck kind of wrench is that? Oh, that's a nut rounder, you see that? Yeah, it ain't no Christology now. Nah, sad to say that. Uh-oh, they want to not be that tight. <laughs> Look at there. Right Let's see if I have the same look Uncle Hank has. I'm not an expert with this thing here. Gotta hold your mouth right I'm now. I'm telling you, I ain't never been able to do that. God, I had, had to get my cheater pop out for that one. <laughs> now, the, the fact that you're wearing two different boots is uh, is really what is is impressive to me, by the way. Well, Andrew. thank you for noticing that, Hank. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it's what they call, what us young people call a fashion trend. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm making a statement. I understand. You know? <laughs> well, you're doing a fine job. There's nothing I don't do for a fine job out of, Hank. Ooh, bronze, I might need you to get up here and bow up on this one now. <laughs> Can you, get, can you reach over here, Ron, from, from there? I could probably get it if I get down here like this. Mm, yeah, I got it. There you go. All right, let's spin them off and see what she looks like, boy. All right, I got, I got my two. You want me? Oh, yeah, all right. Get that one loose enough. Got to love the fact you got to take the machine apart to check the fluid levels. Well, I, you know what I learned not too, too long ago is that uh -oh. your hydraulic fluid is not something uh -oh. you usually have to replace mm -hmm. often. Yeah. Um, they have a, I think there's a vent, an air vent on it anyway. That, yeah. That's, that's normal looking. All right, um, do we got ye old uh, test stick anywhere? Yeah, hold on a sec. Hey, you, you've always had a knack of picking us <laughs> out a test stick. Yeah. We got a good smattering of uh, preventative lubrication across the top of this, uh, this tank, this reservoir here. Listen, I'm gonna give you one. It's it's a mini. It's a mini gauge. Oh man, what, no, what are we gonna be able to do with no, that? No, look, look, it do, it doesn't matter. That's all that matters. Come on, Lord. Look at that. What I pay for this machine, I might just be able to resell you the can resell the hydraulic one. fluid. Now, if that diesel tank says the same story, son, I, she's going on the Craigslist. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I don't even think I'll have to. I think I'll just send her home with you, Hank. That yeah. Hemi will pull it, won't it? I believe so. If it'll pull a 410 SG, I believe you can make it pull this. Listen, if you haven't seen that video of me pulling that 410, y'all go check it out. Yeah, the link's in the comments, y'all. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Get this bad boy uh, lined up. Hmm. I got washers for mine. You hang. Uh, three, two out of three ain't bad as a meat loaf. Well, three out of four, shoot. <laughs> I, I'd three take, out of four ain't bad. I'd take those odds all day long. I'd bet the family farm for that. Mm. I got a good feeling about this one, Drew. Yeah, I sure hope so, because it's already been bought and paid for. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it ain't been paid for. It's been bought <laughs> now. That's right. Well, while you're sitting there, Uncle Hank, twiddling your thumbs, looking pretty, why don't you check in that diesel hole there and see what you see? See what it smells like. And you ain't, you ain't even doing that. You don't give it a little taste test. Yeah, let me see here. Oh, it is fresh. It's only been here six months. Hush. <laughs> Just show me. Ain't no strainer in there. That's a good, that's a great thing to see. All right. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you clean our check stick real good. Yeah, got the old Hamiltonville farm fuel gauge here. That's right, that's right. Try not to get none, so... Oh, let me drop as, a lot. As the dog fennel is falling to pieces. Look at that. Well, oh, that smells good, too. Let's see. Fresh. You sure yeah. you didn't... Yeah, you that's fresh. <laughs> you sure you didn't bring gas out here? I might have brought gas out here. <laughs> I mean, fuel. I ain't brought bring no diesel fuel out here. <laughs> cool. All right, so um, now this... Uh, Let's see if I can get to this um, this dipstick right here. All right, this is this uh, dipstick here is for the uh, the swing bearing and the table. It's got its own oil. 
Oh, okay. Unless, uh, see, y'all tell me if you can see where it's Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Pretty old, though. Yeah. Unless it's water. <laughs> it was thin. Yeah. It was kind of thin. Did you taste it, Uncle Hank? No, I ain't gonna taste that oh, mess. You crazy? Mercy, man. I got, I got, I got. One of these days, Uncle Hank, you're gonna listen to me, and then you'll go from will it start to will it, will it absolutely just run? Just haul. Yeah. Just, it'll just, just do it. Yeah. All right, bros. We you got know what? batteries in the hole. So listen, the, the cool thing about this so far is I haven't seen any type of jerry rigging. You know, I haven't seen any type of wires that are spliced together. That oh, we're have to... am I supposed to be pointing them out? <laughs> Maybe I, I just... thought that's just normal. You know, I mean, yeah, because we, when I see something like this, I'm like, well, this is what we tagged the starter with. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably yeah. why it's there. Um, I don't, I it's a double so. purpose. <laughs> I know. That's a dual it's purpose a latch, wire. Slash starter wire. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's right. Hey, <laughs> I'm telling you now, this is a this is a jam up operation. Uh, another cool thing I just noticed about this machine. I mean, because I've laid eyes on it about twice and whatnot, but uh. Right here, these small hard steel lines. Yeah, those are that's a grease rail right there. Oh, okay. Anybody who's ever greased a, uh, an excavator or a machine with a lot of pivot points knows it's a pain to get up there to the top of the boom and out in the end of the bucket. This machine here, you come in and grease one spot, and it puts grease through all these lines. Perfect. Right here. Yeah. And so you don't have to crown the boom all the way down. And you see that a lot in heavy industry applications like mines right, right. or guys who are really seriously doing some land clearing. Gotcha. And the bigger the machine, usually the higher the hours are. Yeah. Um, it's not uncommon to see them, you know, with super high hours because they're maintained so well. Oh, yeah. It costs a dang much. Oh, of course. I don't know what the MSRP on this machine is new, but uh, yeah. it would be a lot, you know. All It'll right. probably be at least half of what Hank makes in a month. Cool. <laughs> well, Drew. What do you say we try it, dude? I think we've, uh, we, let's go through our checklist real quick again. We got fuel, we got oil, we got batteries, we got water. What else does the feller need these days? Yeah. Well, the only thing we don't know is if those batteries are hot. But like, you know, you can see it in the picture here. We brought hot batteries. Yeah. So these ain't hot. All right, let's try it, dude. Yeah, give it a try, bro. I'll see what she does. Yes, sir. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. There's a fire! We got a far. Turn her off. You over here welding on the batteries. Yeah, something must not be quite right. <laughs> something there. must not be quite right. I only do the Lord's work on Sundays, but on Saturdays, uh, I don't let really Hank Hamilton's bills do that. <laughs> That's right. All right, Ross, tell us how, how we wire them there to get our uh, 24 volts parallel series, whatnot. You got your positive going in here. Might as well set up that first. Might be good on tap to tap tap with a uh, yeah. salt. Then we got our little jump with the breather in there. Sounds like I hear a wild Johnny Barfield man himself, Mr. Uh, Marvel Mystery Oil. Ain't no mystery no more. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if y'all remember him from the. Uh, the Dozier video, right? Oh, fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any sparking or anything there? Nope. No? Oh, yeah. We got the batteries wired up here. My man, Bronze, he's got it going in there looking good. Everything there. I don't know why he's not here. I'm sure he probably frowned on it. <laughs> it's probably not as tight as they were to be. Well, but, uh, the thing about it is, is Wiley would be disappointed that we ain't cobbled nothing. We ain't got no vice grips on oh, it whatsoever. My, good Lord. Oh, Hank, I mean, <laughs> if you just look around, I mean, there's, there's a weird mystery wire that's been spliced. Yeah, yeah. We've got all kind of parts, pieces of hydraulic hose. But yeah. Would you look at there, uh, if you'd pan to your left there, that big truck, and uh, we got, oh. it looks like we might have a guest appearance. Over Where here. Where's Johnny at? Hey, Johnny! <laughs> He's over there somewhere. Yeah. If you've seen our video of an 80-year-old man loading the um, two dozers, Johnny made a, a guest appearance in that as well, and there. Look at him over there. What was, what was your signature phrase, Johnny? <laughs> Johnny's signature phrase for those of you who did not He said, Marvel Mystery Rule, it ain't no mystery no more. <laughs> that's baby. right. And that's that's right. started rolling yeah. well, We right. got these batteries hooked up. Johnny, why don't you come turn the key and see if she's going to shoot? Uh, that's true. It wants to. Hello, Johnny. Shut her off, Johnny. He said it, it is, is off. off. Uh oh. Oh. Ugh. All right. Well, let me get to work on something there. Well, it runs. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it, folks. It, it don't run. run. It, it don't cut off, off, but it runs. And it don't run very good either. Come 
Whoa, stop, 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 whatever you do. All right, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, this is a uh, first for me in my 22 years of uh, living and uh, what have you. The failure to uh, to communicate here, the machine fired off, but um, this, uh, the, yeah, the arm that controls from fuel pumps, this is what controls it electronically. This end here come off of the fuel pump right there. That's what runs the machine to throttle. That's and it fell, it fell down here. And you see that, that large heavy gauge wire? Yep. That is what gets 24 volts from the starter. And it arced on this and grounded and it slapped sure welded itself yeah. to it. Okay. So I imagine if we didn't fry nothing, we ought to be able to hook this up and it might should run. I believe so. Well, I mean, it was running, it just, it was running. It would much not not uh, explode or blow up or uh, it might even work. Heck, you never know. Yeah, um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll uh, pop this back on here somehow. Okay. I sure right. just I just wish Wiley was here so he could uh, give me them vice grips. Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. All right, we it seems like we pieced and cobbled together here. Didn't even have to use no chicken wire or nothing. Man, shoot, I don't know how to act. Yeah, I know it. Lord forbid we had some of that blue Loctite. <laughs> I'm proud of you for using a. Uh... A crescent ranch, though. Well, you know, it's a company tool today. Yeah, that's right. right. One of these days, maybe come Christmas time, uh, Uncle Uncle Hank will leave me one of my stocking. Drew, I'll put these cables back on. Yeah, go on ahead there, Uncle Hank, and hook them up uh, in Series Parallel 24 volt style. <laughs> I'm going to hook them up in the old Series 24 ver Parallel. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is it Wiley always says? Uh, if y'all don't know if it's 12 or 24 volt, just uh. Start high and you know maybe yeah, land that's in right. the middle. Work your way down. Work your way south. It'd be all right. Woo. That's a OSHA approved. All right. So let's. Uh, well, hey, you you got a uh, man. You got more legs than, than I do. You the one with a lot of legs. I'm the handsome <laughs> one. Walk these over there and see what happens. All right. All right. See, this is how okay. I normally do do my diagnostic repairs. Ah, I believe Uncle Hank's in there getting ready to give her a try. Ready? Yes, sir. I believe we're ready. Okay, we rolling, boy. Hey, now look at there. She rolling cold, cuz. <laughs> Give it a little bit more gas, eh? Hey? I forgot to hit that button. Oh, oh. oh that thing's smooth. That sounds good, Drew. That sounds good, dude. I say she run like a singer solo machine myself. I'm gonna try to run these controls. Yeah, just watch the crown up there in my oak trees now, Uncle Hank. All right. I'm just gonna see if we can do it without uh, busting a hose. Oh my gosh. Well, we know we're gonna bust some hose. Ready? Yeah, go Where ahead. Where you at, Bronze? You good? Yeah, it's clear. Everybody's right. clear. Oh, look, it's moving. She's moving. Be looking for leaks, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, curl that bucket. Look at that. Bucket's curl. Bucket curl. Hey, this is right up in there in the muck trees. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Can he swing his counterweight that way and turn the machine this way? Oh yeah, swing that, swing the uh, uh, cl counterclockwise. Yeah. Just watch, watch some big old live oaks, Johnny. Pick it up a little bit, Hank. Hey. It might be uh, hung up in some. There you go. I just don't want to hit that tree. We're gonna get it out here and open it out here in a second, uh, and let you let you play with it. And you can you can be the guinea pig. Yeah. How long you reckon that boom is, Hank? Uh, 20 feet. I think I looked at the specs on this, but now it's been three months ago, like I said, when it was delivered. See if it'll pick these tracks up. Oh yeah. Oh, she's strong. She's strong. I think the boom, the reach on the boom is 31 feet. And I think it'll also lift, it'll also lift uh, 30, 36, 31 or 36,000 pounds was curled in. Now, that bucket will hit the tracks. Okay. 
I mean, right now, if you were to go to crown it all the way down, it, it would hit the tracks. All right, Brian. It's like amateur hour over here at the, at the 911 cattle company today. Training day is what it is. All right, I don't want to hit your truck, so I'm going to stay steady. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll learn down and we'll stick his air filter back in there. And, uh, you want me to turn it off and see if it cuts back on again? Yeah. Am I good back there? Yeah, you're good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought you... Alright, I'm not... I gotta watch everywhere. Let me go back over here. Y'all okay? Am I clear up top? Alright. What do you say? I said, uh, the world is your oh. oyster, hey? <laughs> All right.
Your bucket's holding you off the ground now. Easy bucket, easy boom down. Do what? Ease your bucket up. It's holding you off the ground now. Well, maybe not. You're about there though. See if it'll just track forward. Pick it up. Now see if you can just track forward both tracks at the same time. Oh yeah. That'll keep you from framing down if you got your bucket low. You got both of them mashed good all the way. about there. It should be about the teeter-totter point. Yeah, you are. Feel it? See, now if you let it down. Yeah, there you go. Jerry, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Like always, Mr. Hank, uh, <laughs> I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, what's your thoughts on uh, this machine here? Dude, I mean, it's uh, it's awesome. You know, I know it ain't been set in like 15 years like we, you know, well, uh, know. prefer. Maybe. But, uh, you know, I, I think it cranked right up and, and uh, it runs good. I, I noticed that the uh, tracks kink. Yeah, they have a kink in them. And I've uh, I've been asking around. I come out here the other day and looked at them. And, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them out, but... Uh, for what I'm going to do with it, I think it'll be okay. I think um, so, yeah. But uh, if any of your viewership or anything like that is in the market for a machine like this, it may very well be for sale okay. here in the near future. Yeah, send me an email if you guys want it. Also, uh, I will say tracking up at hill, that's the first time I've ever done something like that. Yeah, I wish you could have seen Well, you will when you see the other footage on that side. The hill's like this high. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, listen, I'm scared. Oh, man, it ain't up <laughs> anyway. to it. I remember uh, many, many moons ago, I hung one up on the hill about like that, late yeah. at night acting a fool. And, uh, my daddy had to come help me get yeah, that's down right. one time, so uh, anyway. I learned it the hard way. That's right. So, hey, listen, we appreciate you guys watching. Take care. God bless. Yes, sir. Thank y'all.